Yeah. So the first thing that you need to do for Rahu and Ketu, if it is linked with your marriage houses, which are the marriage houses, it is the second, seventh, and eleventh. Mm -hmm. Then you must make sure that you do not give in to temptations from the opposite sex. Because sometimes people they have a very very imaginary concept of Rahu Ketu. You know, Rahu Ketu will just fall like bombs from the air like nuclear bombs, atom bombs, and then everything will be destroyed. No, it doesn't happen like that. Rahu Ketu can only trouble you. I mean, they don't trouble, but Rahu represents our own materialistic desires, sinful materialistic desires, which are not sanctioned by the authority of the scriptures. So, if you have Rahu linked with the 2nd, 5th, 7th, ninth, or the 11th, then it is highly, highly, highly crucial that you know where to draw boundaries with the opposite sex because if you do not do that, then you will fall prey to temptations. If you're married, then uh, that's fine, no problem. You have a spouse at your home. But when you are outside, dealing with members of the opposite sex, be very careful because you might get temptations. Okay, And uh, it might force you to break your vows of marriage and go outside, flirt, and then indulge in illicit sex and do what not. <laughs> These days could be more than one also. <laughs> Two, three simultaneously. Yeah, that's how Kali Yuga is degrading. Uh, like uh, and people in Kali Yuga, they are becoming worse than animals, worse than dogs. <laughs> so therefore, if you have Rahu linked with these houses, and if you felt uh, that you are falling prey to temptations, then uh, you should really uh, make sure that you guard your internet presence. Because if you are... If you're not guarding it, then you will watch wrong things there. You will watch adult material, pornography, and then one who watches pornography is sure to indulge in illicit sex. Okay. I have not seen anybody who has uh, not who has gone for extramarital affair and the person does not watch pornography. I have not met any person like this. Right. So therefore, uh, make sure that you are guarding your eyes because everything starts with the eyes you know. once the eyes are gone everything is gone okay and in sanskrit these eyes which keep staring at the private parts of the opposite sex they are known as chapaladrik chapaladrik means eyes which are not under your control you are roaming around like uh, dogs and donkeys <laughs> and just going around staring uh, flirting messaging doing this doing that right so therefore very careful and as a remedy you can also uh, do fasting uh, on fridays because if your if your sex desire is beyond your control then there's definitely a problem with your venus okay then you need to do some remedies for venus so i have a video on venus remedies please go and watch it okay so that's one thing and you can also do uh, Nara and Kavach. You can type in Google and uh, YouTube also you'll find Nara and Kavach. So Nara and Kavach is a very important remedy if Rahu is linked with the houses of marriage, the 2nd, 5th, 7th, 9th and 11th. And when you are doing that, you should pray to Lord Vishnu that please protect me from these temptations. You can, you can pray to uh, all the divine uh, personalities, the 12 Mahajans. Whenever you go out from your home, just have a sincere prayer towards them, right? They will help you to counter these effects, right? And uh, you can also do one more thing, which I do almost always. When you are sleeping, uh, before you sleep in the night, because what happens? In the night, you can get so many thoughts and desires and whims and fantasies. <laughs> I don't know if it happens with you. It happens with me all, all the time, almost. Not every day, but... It happens very frequently. So then, before you sleep in the night, uh, you should chant, uh, sing the Narsing Dev's prayers, you know, Narsima Arati, that is very beautiful. You will also find in YouTube, Narsima Arati, you can type. Or you can also sing this, you know, Ugram Viram Mahavishnum Jalantam Sarvatomukham Narsingam Bishanam Bhadram Mityor Mityor Namamya. I mean, these are some of the things which you can do. Okay, And in the morning, you can pray to the 12 Mahajans and you can go. And of course, you should chant some mantras, Vishnu mantras, depending on your horoscope and your uh, 
your lifestyle and your standards that you're following home all right so that's very important and also if rahu is linked with your trines the fifth and the ninth then it's very crucial that or even if the ascendant first fifth ninth it is very 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 essential that you stop eating onion and garlic i personally i do not take onion and garlic in my home i have left it uh july 2011 after that i have not been taking i left meat in december 2010 so it's what's now november almost 10 years never gone back meat fish and eggs and onion garlic i had stopped somewhere after 6 months so july 2011 but sometimes when i go to meet some of my friends in some restaurant once in a while once in a blue moon as they say once in a month or once in 3 months then i might take sometimes but that which is a rare occasion i do not take it but in general if you have rahu link to the trines then make sure that you do not take it okay avoid it because onion and garlic they are directly linked with rahu and they are very tamasic please avoid it give it up totally okay if you take then rahu ketu's influence will be there very much on you okay and of course meat meat fish and eggs any violence that you participate uh, you won't be left unpunished there will be severe repercussions for this because uh, krishna will never tolerate that his children are being killed mercilessly and murdered right so you will have to pay the price and consequences sorry to be very bold and heavy we are discussing more heavy stuff <laughs> all right so this is something which you should do if if the issue is related to your marriage and then uh primary issue is your career okay so in career what happens is why people suffer during rahu ketu dasha is because they've cheated somebody else rahu ketu is cheating basically one word describes rahu ketu is cheating now you may say oh i am the most nicest bestest goodest personality in this entire universe you know i have never cheated anybody i have not even touched anybody's money i have not even seen kabhi dekha bhi nahi kisi ki taraf <laughs> you may say all these things but who knows what you have done in your past lives right so people um yeah that that that, that is why it is happening because uh, the universe is not so stupid uh, like people of kali yuga <laughs> that is just randomly going on allotting suffering okay many times people tell me oh you tell reading bhagavad gita will help me you know what happened you know i'm still unhappy i'm still miserable you know i'm still having divorce you know, my relationships are still not working you know why is your god so useless why is he not sitting and fixing my problems you know such a boring useless idiotic god he is <laughs> this is what people tells people think god is uh, nothing but a hopeless uh, jobless joker who is sitting around and you know giving problems and you know fixing problems this is what people of kaliwa think that is why they treat uh, god like a dog sometimes hey they do i will do this homa i will do this yagya i will wear this gemstone give me give me give me give me give me more if you don't have then give me and if i have give me more <laughs> all right so primary is one relationships the secondary is finances so when it comes to finances please make sure that you are in line with the law right so do not break the law do not uh, go beyond um, what you should not be doing okay and be very clear with your finance financial transactions another very important uh, easy way for rahu ketu is to uh, to worship uh, the vishnu avatars why because mercury is the karaka for the 10th house the 10th house is the prime house of finances so the houses where rahu ketu are you know who who is the karaka for that house so for example if, if rahu is in your third and you in your rahu dasha you have had downfall in finances then you can do some worship for or nursing it because third house karaka is the ma the kar is mars okay so if it is for seventh house or for fifth house especially then jupiter is the karak and if you feel that uh, you have had troubles during rahu dasha financially then you can worship vamandev okay Now how how you will do what you will do that will depend on the horoscope but what i am telling is this is how you approach it okay and of course if it is uh, related to uh, the 12th house then you might have to worship uh, who is the karaka for the 12th house shani dev then urma dev's worship you must do okay 
So therefore, this is how you know. And uh, another way is uh, to give donations actually. Whenever you are, have, because see, when you are donating, what is happening is you are doing some good karma. Okay. Now that will not nullify your bad karma. Do not think that if you cheat somebody, when you donate some money, it's nullified. All right. So good and bad karma will go to their separate accounts. They are not uh, mixed. Okay. But you could still do that uh, and uh, pray to God <clears throat> that please forgive me for all the sins that I have committed or for all, for all the harm that I have done. Because see what happens is when you are cheating somebody, when you are taking money from somebody by using devices, may, bad means, then that person has that pain in the heart. And that pain comes back to you. It's not the money. It is not the money. It can be in euros. It can be in USD. INR doesn't matter. That same amount of pain which that person ha had got, that same amount of pain you will get. Something else will be taken away from you. Maybe your mobile or your laptop or something. May not be cash. May not be somebody hacks your bank account. May not be. Maybe your car breaks. <laughs> right? So that same amount of pain you shall get. All right. So therefore, it's very crucial that you understand how Rahu Ketu works, okay? And fasting is also a very good way because if you have cheated on somebody, then uh, yes, fasting is voluntarily acceptance of uh, suffering for for your sins, actually, okay? So the word which represents Rahu Ketu, that's the three-letter word, as I am. Sin is basically uh, dis disobedience to God, okay? Anything where we go beyond that is permitted by the scriptures, so, especially in Kali Yuga, uh, there is this Eka Patni Vrat. Okay? So, a man is not supposed to put his eyes somewhere else apart from his wife. But if you are going, and the same is for a woman also. She should be loyal and faithful and chaste to one man. <laughs> and that's her husband. So, either, either ways, if you are going outside and hanging around... <laughs> And you will suffer either in this life or maybe in the next or maybe in the next thousand lifetimes. Right? That, that will happen because why? You, know, you may think, oh, it's my life after all. I can sleep around with 10 people, you know, with 10 men, with 10 women. Who, 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 who's the one deciding? It's my body after all. I, I decide it's my life, right? No, it's not your body. Human body is given by God to you so that you do spiritual practices and give up the life of the dogs. Okay. Have you seen monkeys? If you go to Vrindavan, you will see monkeys, what they are doing. Have you seen dogs in the streets? <laughs> so, <clears throat> human life is given. Athato Brahma Jigyasa, that you read the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, you read the Vishnu Sastanam, you read the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, the Dharmapada, you read the Upanishads, you read Ramayana, you read Mahabharata, you understand what is Param Tattva Jigyasa, you understand who is God and you move ahead in that journey. Okay, This body is not your property. It is, you feel like this in Kali Yuga. Oh, it's mine after all. You know, I can do whatever I want. I can commit suicide. I can take drugs. I can drink. I can have sex with anybody. Mm -hmm. I think like this, but that's not your property. This body is temporarily given to you for a particular purpose. Okay. So, for example, this mobile is there, iPhone XR. You see, my company's name is written, Media Mark Saturn. So, what happens if I use this for, you know, like, <laughs> suppose I use this to make a lot of, you know, international calls to my friends, you know, here in anywhere you know, in Russia. Of course, I don't have any friend in Russia, but suppose there are a big bunch of people. I'm just using this phone to just call my friends. It's a personal uh, call. So then what happens? The company will fire me or they will take this phone away from me. That's what happens, right? So anybody who misuses the human body from the purpose of its utility, then there is enormous amount of suffering because mother nature won't tolerate this that yes, I gave you human body. The very fact that you have got this human body is a proof that you have had some level of spiritual inquiry in some human life. Otherwise, you would have not got this body. You have, you would have got the body of a dog or a polar bear or cat or snake, some animal. You will not find an animal discussing of Ekadashi. 
you won't find a dog he will say oh it's sunday you know we must go to the mass in the church you, know, you won't find you won't find an elephant you know going on uh, you know, celebrating janmashtami or ramnam you won't find that you won't find a snake going and greeting each other on eid you won't find right or you won't find a caterpillar you know, reading the gita you won't find right so anybody who misuses the human body for brutal animalistic purposes then they get an animal body so if a, if a person is going around having sex with any number of people or even outside of marriage then okay mother nature says okay you want rahu so no problem you get the body of a dog you can enjoy how much ever you want okay but it's miserable it's suffering you know imagine the life of a dog very hard right all right so therefore there are so many things you can do depending on your horoscope and therefore uh, if you elevate your consciousness spiritually and you do the respective vishnu avatar mantras for the houses which are linked with rahu ketu and you do fasting on some specific days on some specific tithis then at a material level you can voluntarily accept some suffering which which will come to you because of your because of the bad karma which you have performed in the past okay by that you can mitigate rahu ketu to a large extent but these are all temporary solutions the permanent solution is you have to get free from temptations if you fall into temptations it's just a matter of time any number of fasting or chanting mantras will not work so the biggest way to solve rahu ketu problems are to is to join a spiritual community where you will have the association of your shiksha gurus your diksha guru and your god brothers your god sisters your seniors your equals your juniors and by that that is the only way by which you can uh, control temptations or um, get rid of temptations i could say okay, even if you have all right because only your only the only your guru can help you regarding this okay no astrologer no numerologist nobody can help you okay so talk to your shiksha guru your diksha guru only they can help you in the bona fide paramparas in the authorized traditions and when they request god that this person is very sincere please remove his anarthas please remove her anarthas only then the parmatma inside our heart he will say all right clear <laughs> till the time we have to keep roaming headlessly all right so therefore respect your gurus pay homage to them and take their blessings and follow their instructions only by that you can make spiritual progress otherwise you're doomed <laughs> all right thank you very much for your patience and sorry if my words pierced your heart <laughs> this was required right as usual if you are new to my channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation please go to my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him